Over 60 vendors showcased their paintings, sculptures, jewelry, and many other forms of art for the 60th anniversary of Art in the Park. The event gave locals an opportunity to get publicity and to sell their work, as well as raise money for the Morrow Bay Art Association. And our participation gives us the income to sponsor especially our scholarship show, which is money that we give to, it used to be high school and college kids, this year it was high school kids throughout the county. One vendor, Darcy Martell, creates jewelry from real flowers she picks and dries herself. So after the, the flowers are dried, then I am able to encapsulate them in a two-part epoxy resin. Even though making a single piece of jewelry takes Darcy hours, she likes to keep her prices low. They're going for 100 on oh, online, but I sell them for 25 <laughs> Just because yeah. I want people to be able to have them and enjoy them. Peter Eller has showcased his stained glass kaleidoscopes at Art in the Park for 20 years. He has had so much practice that he can make a small kaleidoscope in only an hour. I get a mirror and sheets of glass, so they're big pieces. I have to cut them to the sizes that I want to use, so I'll do the mirror first, and I'll put that into a triangle that I want to have. Then I'll cut the glass, and then I'll build it around the mirror. Deborah Bedlion makes her copper-wrapped stained glass designs for the home and garden. She returned for her second year at Art in the Park for a few reasons. I get a lot of contacts for other shows from here and different businesses that are interested in having me make things for them. So it's kind of a nice way to meet people and get my art out there. And this gives me an opportunity to give people joy, hopefully, and then they go home and enjoy it just like I enjoy making it. This is Laura Hoover reporting.